just want to show you how you use the software PASS uh, for uh, sample size calculations uh, for Cox regression. So here you can choose um, what procedure you want to use and let's go down to survival and choose Cox regression. And we end up having the possibility to doing a number of choices uh, and in our case we want to calculate sample size. Always use two-sided. Good idea to use 90% power and 5% as uh, alpha. Uh, we are looking for an event that happens um, and assume that the event we are looking for happened in 70% of all cases then we put in that proportion here. Uh, and here we put in uh, the hazard ratio and this is actually the natural logarithm of the hazard ratio which means uh, if we want to put in a hazard ratio for example of 0 0.9 then we need to calculate that in for example Excel and then we get this figure and that figure is what we should put in here this is if you have other variables but let's uh, for the this example just uh, talk about a univariate Cox regression so we put this as zero which means we ignore other variables so this is pretty much what we need to put in uh, and then we go up here and click calculate and we get this outcome which means that under these circumstances we need 601 patients which is sort of a bit much uh, but on the other hand the hazard ratio 0 0.9 is quite close to 1 so that means the more the hazard ratio approaches 1 the smaller difference we're actually looking for and that means we may, we need more patients to try and prove that that difference is statistically significant so this is how to calculate um, sample size in Cox regression Remember that this is the log hazard ratio and you need to use Excel to transfer this. And where do you get the hazard ratio 0 0.9 from? Well that is what you try to find in, in previous publications.